so embraced Don Quixote. Uh, look, it's hard to get people to come to a greenhouse gas message, an environmental message. It's hard to get them to come to a climate change message. Don Quixote is an icon of worldwide proportion. He's an enigma, a mystery. Well, probably all of you have grown up wondering or knowing what does it mean to tilt that windmill. Some of you have seen the movie with Peter O'Toole and Sophia Warren. Some of you have gone to the play, The Man from the Mantra. Some of you have loved the music from that. Some of you have gone to the greatest business schools in this world where they teach Don Quixote. They tap into the Don Quixote fiction, culture, whatever image to bring management students to help them understand, discover important management concepts. I tap into him because I know, I have a sense of the importance of this fictitious, crazy man and how he impacts people. Actually, he may influence who the next president of the United States is. You know why? Because if you listen to the press, What's happening with politics, there are many people have said that the Hispanic and Latino vote will deter may determine who will be the next president of the United States. And God help us if certain people who do not think like you and me wind up as president. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Michael, maybe Cyrus, you close the phone. Lunch is here. <laughs> so Latino and Hispanic people tend to admire him more than maybe we admire Abraham Lincoln. They, even my cleaning lady, snaps to attention, we never went to fifth grade, snaps to attention when I mention his name. So that's why, oh, and I want to add this, I'll finish with Don Quixote. I also see Don Quixote as a horse, as a horse. And it's a term you do not know, but people in the press people who are concerned with riding important developments. 2016 is not just important because of the national election. It is the 400th worldwide celebration of the father of Don Quixote, Cervantes. And that celebration is going to bring Don Quixote more to the forefront of all of our thinking. Now I'm ready for my last.